This short video shows how to properly position and secure Nanan 8000 SS, SM and SL soft series reusable finger sensors. Eight thousand SX soft series sensors are one piece designed for easy spot checking or continuous use. These sensors may be cleaned and reused on a new patient. Soft sensors position on the finger without tape or adhesives. They may also be used on a toe of the appropriate size for the sensor size. Additional adhesives or tapes will not properly position the sensor and may cause signal problems or sensor damage. Each sensor has an emitter that projects a tuned light wave pattern through the arterial blood flowing in the finger and a detector which receives that light. The heartbeat creates a signal detectable throughout the arteries. This signal is detected by the light waves and used for both measuring pulse rate and oxygen saturation in the arterial blood. The emitter and detector should rest across from each other at the base or center of the fingernail and the pad of the finger. Proper sizing is very important. Measure the thickness from fingernail to the finger pad at the center of the fingernail. Soft sensors are available in large, medium, and small sizes for different finger or toe thicknesses. Do not attempt to squeeze the finger into a sensor too small for the digit. Pressure can restrict blood flow and affect sensor accuracy. Too large a sensor may move, compromising signal capture. To start, ensure the sensor is compatible with the specific model Nonin branded pulse oximeter you are using. These soft sensors are designed for use with a wide range of Nonin oximeters. Sensors for model 3150 wrist aux 2 oximeters have a shorter cable and different connector for use with the model 3150 wrist aux 2 pulse oximeter. Remember, Nonin brand sensors are designed for use with Nonin brand pulse oximeters only. Do not use these sensors with other brand pulse oximeters, which may provide inaccurate results. Wash and dry the hand where the sensor will be placed. Heavy lotions, sunscreens, oils, dirt and fingernail polish, or artificial nails, may alter the accuracy of the sensor, so start with a clean, dry finger. The sensor may be placed on the index, ring, or middle finger. If there is an IV or BP cuff on one arm, use the other arm and fingers for sensor placement. Nonin soft sensors are made of latex-free soft silicone material for durable, easy placement. They are designed for easy and secure placement as well as frequent removal and reuse. Simply give a gentle squeeze on the sides of the sensor to gap it open and insert a clean, dry finger into the end of the sensor. Place the cable to run along the top of the hand toward the wrist. The fingertip should be just at the very end of it, but not extending through the sensor. The sensor will gently hug the finger. For extended use, it's a good idea to secure the cable with medical tape on the top of the hand with a little slack for movement. This helps prevent pulling at the sensor site. You're ready to use the Nonin Pulse Oximeter to measure oxygen saturation and pulse rate. Nonin Pulse Oximeters have a signal quality display that measures the sensor signal. If the signal is low or moderate, the emitter and detector may not be in proper alignment. Reposition the sensor to see if a stronger signal can be obtained. If repositioning does not increase the signal quality, try a different site or check that the patient's hand is warm, relaxed, and well perfused. Check the sensor position and connection every 6 to 8 hours or periodically per your institutional policy. It is easy to remove the sensor and reposition. You can rotate to different fingers for patient comfort. To clean between patients, you can wipe all patient contact surfaces of the sensor with a soft cloth dampened with isopropyl alcohol or a 10% bleach solution. Do not use caustic, abrasive, or ammonium chloride-based cleaners, which may shorten sensor life. Do not turn the sensor inside out, which may damage the silicone or sensor components. Wipe away from the plug on the cable toward the sensor. 
allow the sensor to completely dry before the next application. You can find additional use information on this and other Nanan products at www.nanan.com.